Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with the Berlin Classics Kapellmeister edition. There it is, the Kapellmeister edition. Now, this came to me in a very strange way, because as some of you may know, I have recently moved, and when I left my apartment in Brooklyn, I left forwarding addresses for everything, but apparently some people didn't get the message. So this was sent to my apartment in Brooklyn, and, uh, you know, there it sat until the super was kind enough to call me and say, you know, you've got a couple packages sitting here in Brooklyn. So I went dashing back there, and here it was. Don't ask me why or how. Now, the Kapellmeister edition consists of one, two, three, four, five, two CD boxes, each devoted to another Kapellmeister. Now, the interesting thing about this is that they're meaning this in a wholly positive way, but Kapellmeister, it just means, you know, the, the master of the musical establishment of the noble persons or rich persons, you know, sort of manse, and that's what they did. But it came to be a sign of contempt. A Kapellmeister was an ordinary musician, someone of no special virtue, a run-of-the-mill, decently trained, okay guy who just sort of ran things, but was never inspired. Well, here we have a whole edition full of those people. No, some of them are inspired and some of them are less inspired. And I just thought to make life easy, we would take these things one set at a time. Some of them are well chosen and well curated, as you might expect. Some of them are just ridiculous, just silly. So let's let's see what we have here. And, and we'll get through it, oh, I think probably relatively quickly. I have an itch there. Don't you hate it when it's like allergy season? Everything itches. Okay, never mind. I'll get a Benadryl later. So first, Kurt Zanderling. Not a, well, he could be Kapellmeister-ish. He had his stodgy moments, didn't he? But let's see what we get. CD1, Tchaikovsky, Romeo and Juliet, Bardens in the Steppes of Central Asia. Rachmaninoff's Rhapsody and a Theme of Paganini with Peter Rusel, Sibelius Seven, Bruckner's Third, Only the Scherzo, Mahler Ten, the Adagio, but he did the whole thing. And then Shostakovich's Tenth, oh, Fifteenth Symphony, three, four, all of it. All right, so the stuff that you get all of is very good. The stuff that you get bits of is stupid and ridiculous. Why do that? I don't get it, but that's what they did. So there you are. There's that one. Then we have, who else? Up, oh, Court Mazur. Definitely a Kapellmeister. Um, he had his good moments, but, you know, some, but a lot of really stuffy ones. So here we have Mendelssohn, the Hebrides. Um, oh, by the way, orchestras. You want to know what orchestras are doing this? It's the, the Berlin Symphony and the Gewandhaus and the Staatskapelle Dresden on Sandoli. So for Mazur... Um, I mean, the thing is for these is that the orchestras are really better than the conductors, often is not, and are interesting to hear all of those East German orchestras. So we've got, let's see, the Gewandhaus and the Dresdner Philharmonie. And we have Mendelssohn, the Hebrides. Okay, that's nice. Mozart, uh, Piano Concerto number 23, the Scherzo of Beethoven's Ninth. I'm not even putting on a tie for that. What's the point? It's only the Scherzo. I mean, why? 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 You don't want to hear Mazur do the whole thing. I guess that's why. Tchaikovsky, uh, Piano Concerto, Symphony Number no. 2, The Little Russian. Did you get all of it? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, thank God, you get all of it. Mendelssohn, The String Symphony Number no. 13. It's only one movement here, so that's okay. Schumann's Genevieve Overture, Mahler's Kindertoten Leader with, with, let's see, who's singing? Siegfried Lorenz, I believe. Um, the Johann Svensson Romance for Violin and Orchestra, Prokofiev's Classical Symphony, all of it, and Gershwin, an American in Paris, all of it. Ooh, is that a weird collection, but it's actually kind of fun. I mean, you know, aside, again, from the excerpt, he thinks, why bother with the scherzo from Beethoven's Ninth without a tie? What's the point? I, okay. Next, these are all available separately, by the way. They are, so you don't have to get the box. Otmar Sweetner, a terribly underrated conductor, really a good conductor, solid and sometimes inspired. Um, I remember my good friend Christophe Us at, at Le Devoir in Montreal did an interview with him, and he was like amazed that anybody would want to interview him. But he did some beautiful, beautiful work in Mozart, his Dvorak stuff, Schubert, some great stuff. So anyway, 
Overture, the, the Overture of the Marriage of Figaro. Overture by Mozart, Mozart, yeah. This is this is with the Staatskapelle Berlin and the Staatskapelle Dresden, which she had, which was fabulous, you know. So we've got uh, Marriage of Figaro Overture, Weber's Oberon Overture, the finale of Bruckner's Seventh. Oh, why are they doing this? Grieg, Norwegian Dance Number 4. Why not do all... F- Smetna, the, the Dance of the Comedians from the Bartered Bride, Dvorak 6, gorgeous. 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, you get all of it. Thank God. All right, number two, Fitzner, the Prelude to Palestrina. Ooh, there's a laugh riot. Richard Strauss's Fantasy from Die Frau und Schatten. Well, that's fun. The Max Rager Ballet Suite and Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring. All of it. Fabulous. Wow. An insanely vicious and wonderful rite of spring supported by an amazing Staatskapelle Dresden that sounds like it's having the time of its life. Yes, this I would get if you don't have sweetener stuff and don't know about his work. Because he's really good. Next, let's see. Herbert Kegel, another great conductor. What do we have here? Uh, this is with all kinds of orchestras. The Radio Leipzig Radio Choir, the Leipzig Radio Symphony Orchestra, the Dresdner Philharmonie, and other people. So, Mussorgsky's Pictures in an Exhibition. All of it. Good. Boris Blocher, Orchestral Variations on a Theme of Paganini. You know what theme that is, right? The Paganini theme. Court Vile, a bit of The Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, that's terrible. Because it's such a great performance with Gisela Mai. Oh, God, why only do a piece? Only foul height. It's terrible. Borden, Palofsky and Dances. Wagner, The Prelude to Parsifal. Oh, to Act Three of Parsifal. Pardonnez-moi. And Penderecki's uh, Threnos. Oh, that's a, that's a joy. And then CD2, Carmina Burana, a bit of it. Not all. No, is it all here? Yes, it's all here. 1, 2, 3 to 10, 11 to 14, 15 to 23, 14, 12. Yes, thank God. One of the great Carmina Baranas with the best choral singing you'll ever hear in your life. Kegel trained the Leipzig Radio Choir and they were astonishing. Thank God. Then we've got uh, Stravinsky Suite Number no. 2 for Small Orchestra, the Berg Transformation Music from Wozzeck. Huh? I don't know. Wozzeck had transformation music. I guess this is the interlude. No, it's the interlude, you know, in the last act, but, you know. And and the finale only of Mahler 4. I hate excerpts. Make it a four CD set. Give us complete works. Make it a three CD set. I mean, what's the problem with these people? There's great stuff here. And then filler, fillers of junk. That's like useless. All right. Now here's the last one. Herbert Blomstedt. Well, we all know who he is. He is not a Kapellmeister at all. Um, well, sometimes he could be a little stodgy. Everybody has their stodgy moments. I mean, you know, Leonard Bernstein had their stodgy moments. Karian had stodgy moments. You know, Schulte was the personification of stodgy moments. And, you know, and so what the hell. Okay. Beethoven's Fifth. Well, I would not have put that in from his Beethoven cycle. It's one of the less interesting performances in that cycle. I would have done seven or eight or something like that. It would have been much better. Um, Weber, Piano Concerto Number 1. Uh, oh, no, the concert stuck. Pardon me. Thank God, the concert stuck. Well, that's great. Okay, and that's with Peter Rizzel. Uh Schubert's Unfinished. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. Both movements, thank God. We don't get an unfinished, unfinished. That would have been terrible, wouldn't it? Mozart, Concerto for Oboe. Okay, Mozart. Bella Mia Fiamma, Adio, and Resta Ocara, Concert Aria with Edda Moser. Uh, the Mozart Adagio and Fugue, Kerschel 546, and the Dvorak Symphony Number no. 8, which is fabulous. And these are all with the Staatskapelle Dresden. So this this has, has no sniglets, at least. And if the Beethoven 5 isn't the most thrilling out there, I mean, at least it's good and solid, and you get to hear it all. All of it. Yes. So there you have it. The Berlin Classics Kapellmeister Edition. And... Uh, you know, complete works and and annoyingly chosen sniglets that I think are foolish. But you can, like I said, you can get these things um, individually and uh, maybe the big box still. I don't know. But, you know, these are some major voices, conductorially speaking. And you should hear them and know them and enjoy them. So keep on listening, friends. Take care. <laughs>